Well, I guess it's a uh, happy Easter. And we got one of those there. And uh, anyway, doing a little yard work today here at the other place. And um, figured I'd give a shot of that. Guess you can kind of see what we have around here. Got a little of that this afternoon. And a uh, little of that. But anyway, I'm out here in the yard. I think it was about a year ago, not quite a year ago, a little, yeah, not quite a year ago, I did the little uh, garden patch thing. Here's the uh, bags of dirt. And then I brought over some of this screen. Uh, I don't know what they call it, anyway. Some uh, free stuff I had laying around. But uh, we got our garden patches started here. This is the uh, south side, but about not quite a year ago I did a little thing about what they were building next door. Anyway, now we have those. Uh, there's six of them across there. And then uh, the big field we had behind the house is now one of those. And they're fixing to put in three houses right here behind our fence. Um, but at least they're individual houses, probably the type you uh, lean out and shake your neighbor's hand. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're getting here. But we're starting our uh, little garden here. We got some uh, little starts there, some lettuce. There's some cucumbers starting and uh, some opo, which is a squash. But uh, some wintered over onions here. And... Uh, those onions will get dug up here. Well, actually, they'll probably get eaten. The tops of them will get eaten until later. And then uh, eventually, they get dug up. And then they end up hanging here. And they get used as time goes by. But uh, we eat a lot of the greens off the onions. They go in soup and whatever around here. Got the uh, strawberries that wintered over. We got some kaibesan which uh, was just starting to come up on its own over in the other patch so we just transplanted over here and then next to that we got little lettuce going on we got some wintered over uh, uh, mustard green here and then our basil seeded itself out and there's little tiny basils coming up here in between you can kind of see them there little tiny guys so we're gonna have some basil there and uh, some of this uh, uh, raw rum uh, wintered over. This is not supposed to grow here, but we had a pretty mild winter, so it uh, kind of stayed over. It's a, it's another type of mint, and it's pretty good. And then our uh, fish mint got transplanted next door here, and in fact, it tastes like fish. And a few more onions here some lemon mint there the uh, spearmint hasn't come up yet this year I don't know what's going on with that another patch of lettuce uh, haven't decided yet we got an asparagus farm here and they started coming up and the slugs got them all so we got a little bait there for the slugs now some snap peas are started out here raspberries over in the corner here these were some gimme plants last year just twigs and um, anyway, my grapes managed to uh, survive here on the trellis from last year. They're starting to put little buds out. Anyway, I'm working on this thing here, another box. And this is going to be for the Opo squash. And then I don't know what else, but uh, right now I'm just starting to turn the soil that was here. I pulled all the sod off, and i got to get rid of that. I'll take it over to the beetle barn and lose it in the woods or something over there but turn this over and then those bags of dirt will get mixed with what's here and a little manure and it'll be some good soil but uh, I'm gonna build a frame here plant the squash at the far end and build a frame um, the far end there is the north side and the squash will climb towards the sun up the frame and then over the top so it'll be like a canopy of squash and then underneath there, in the rest of the dirt, we can plant some other smaller uh, type plants that want to just hang out down on the ground. 
and uh, I have to build something similar for cucumbers this year and the Rick Fix is the one who got me uh, thinking about growing the squash and stuff uh, upward and then I did a little research on the web and in fact you can do that with pretty much any vine just uh, build a frame and that way you don't use quite as much real estate on the ground for growing your squash you know because the squash plant takes up oh foot foot in diameter area but it sprawls all over the place so you might as well sprawl it up and out of the way and grow something else underneath it so anyway that's my uh, Easter day out here playing in the yard and uh, making the uh, the uh, expected phone calls etc and uh, that's it happy Easter everybody and um, thanks for watching <laughs>